Yo, listen. There was a moment that happened at Comic Con that blew my mind. Now, I'm walking, right? And I see the Thundercats lair. Now, stop for a second, right? Because you need to know my initial reaction because you wasn't there in person. I'm walking and I see this and I'm like, stop. Like, I told everybody, stop. What is this? And I'm like, Thundercats, ho, going crazy, everything like that. I was blown away. It is beautiful. It is insane. You're going to see exactly what I'm talking about in a second. But it's an honor to be in the presence of the co-founder. You talk about Super 7. You talk about greatness. My man Brian is the truth. Brian, bro, I need a hug, All man. Right, here we go. It's an honor to see you. It's an honor to meet you. What does this mean to you just as a project to be able to build out the lair and just be a part of the culture like this and being such a fan and a kid at the same time? What does it mean to you, bro? I mean, that's the whole point. We're sp it's supposed to bring you joy. Like when you saw it, you were like, you were this big again. Yeah, yes. And, and, that, and that's it. It's Everything that we do is about bringing that inner child, but bringing that happiness and the joy into it. Like the rest of the world can get dark out there. But when you've got those toys in your hand again, it's it's all fun again. God bless you. Now, you want to know what I'm talking about, right? Because I lost my mind. You don't understand. When I spin the chain like this, I lose my mind. I'm going to show you why I lost my mind. Let's go. Super 7 all day. Do you see this? Do you see this? Look at this. What's up, y'all? What's popping? Look at it. this. Look at that. You kidding me right now? Brian, come, come here, bro. Come here. So when y'all designing this and you seeing all of this and you got the vision, can you kind of give us an understanding on what it took, how how y'all was building it, maybe the materials? Like, what, it, what did it take to put this together? I mean, uh, for us, for Thundercats, we've been making Thundercats for about five years now, and we've been building up. And we started with Mandora and her electric charger. Then we did the Thunder Tank. And then everybody starts asking about the Cats Lair. The problem, of course, is you got to make sure it's scaled to fit your action figures. And it's got to be a certain size to make sure Lion-O and everybody fits. Yeah. And then that starts making it taller and taller, and you start questioning whether or not this is feasible. But, wow. you know, or whether or not it's realistic, the, the most common thing people say it's the divorce maker. So, wow. uh, you know. That's crazy. It's I like, love it. You know, but it's... It's the same thing at a certain point with this, like if you're gonna make the cat's lair, you you just gotta make it. And yeah. it's gonna be what it's gonna be. And it's just like we'll make it as big and bold as we can. You know, we've got light up eyes, the light up Wait, chest. The eyes light up and everything. See? Eyes light up, chest lights up, there's a screen on the other side that lights up. Oh my god, you can real? Yeah, you can lift up the paws, get the guns underneath. There's a door there for the thendrillium core, you can open up the doors, it's a, it's it's, it's ridiculous even for us. Wow. So I got two more questions. My next question is this. If there was a Thundercats video game, who would you, like, what company or whatever, who would you want to make it, and how would you want to be a part of a video game if you could, like, build out the video game version or the video game world that they would uh, put together for us to play or something like that. Like, how would you want to do that, dog? Man, if we were doing a video game, you'd have to totally make it like Marvel versus Capcom. Oh, that would that be one. the right way. Oh. You know, that would be, that'd that be would, crazy. Yo, that would be epic. And for the final question, for the final question, yo, Johnny, you got to crown him, son. You got to crown him. You got to put the belt on him, son. That's what I'm talking about. My man get the belt. Brian gets the belt. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, yeah, you can hold it up. You can hold it up. Yeah. So now for the final question, right, because this is the 50th anniversary of hip hop, right? Yes. I got to ask you, if there's a hip, -hop, a hip hop artist that you would love to bring into the world of Thundercats, but also a hip hop artist you would love to make and create in this style so we can enjoy them in this fashion, what hip hop artist would that be, bro? For Thundercats, you have to do Eric Sermon, the Green Eyed Bandit. Oh, Eric Sermon! Yo, I I don't normally do this. I don't, hold up. I don't normally do this. He said the Green Eyed Bandit, EP of D, Eric That's Sermon. Eric so, dollars. you already know what it is. What? And one of my favorite songs, my favorite song is So What You Saying. That's my joint, you know what I'm saying? So, what we're going to do, I'm going to see if we could do this. But... <laughs> 
let's see if Eric is available. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm calling Eric Sermon. I'm calling Eric Sermon right now. Oh, he's unavailable. He's unavailable right now. He's but gonna, He's going to know the call he missed. He's going to know the call he missed. So, Eric Sermon, we love you. You already know what it is. This is me, Hip Hop Gamer. This is Brian, the co-founder of Super 7. And on that note, we're going to say Thundercats. Oh! Ho! So, on the count of three, let's go. One. Yep. One, two, three. Thundercats. Thundercats. Ho! On your hot 9-7 every day. That's my word. A-U-R. And gaming. Super Radio. Let's get it. We out.